at the Santa Ana Wastewater Treatment Plant expansion. Uh, this project is to serve two primary purposes. The first is to replace existing and aging infrastructure, and the second is to provide the Pueblo an ability to grow and expand into the future. Time was really key for this project, and uh, because of that, the client chose to do it uh, using progressive design build. Um, and using that mechanism, working with them, with all the trade partners and ourselves, we've been able to save uh, approximately $10 million off the budget that was there for um, uh, traditional delivery and also from start to finish, from notice to proceed for design through to the uh, start up of the plant, we've been able to do all of that in only just a little over two years, which is very fast for a project of this scale. This project was constructed on a live operating plant, so there's a lot of collaboration between ourselves and the client. For example, their sludge bioreactors are being converted to sludge storage basins, which took a very phased and incremented approach to make sure they could maintain their flows and treatment while we were getting the construction progress done uh, on a schedule and time basis. We had weekly meetings. They would uh, give us their schedule on what they were going to do at the time for that week. We did have training on the equipment that's here, bar screens, uh, valving, lines, uh, floors and the training was uh, very good. This project's using the most modern technologies that are available for wastewater treatment. Um, when the water comes into the plant, it, it goes through screening, which is typical. We actually screen it a little bit more fine because of some of the downstream things. Then we have uh, a good uh, uh, biological process uh, based on aeration. And then we come into the heart of the plant behind me here, which is the membrane bioreactor. So the membrane bioreactor um, takes the place of traditional clarifiers and also uh, takes the place of filtration. And it turns you know, what's very dirty water to start with to pretty much crystal clear water uh, by uh, using a membrane to filter the water. So the membrane is so fine that when we pull through it, which we actually do by gravity at this plant, when we pull the water through it, um, only the uh, liquid, only the water can get through and no particles, no solids at all come through. So it produces that very high quality effluent. The teamwork worked in a real loop here at the project. We had the designers, ourselves the contractors, and our subs and vendors. The design would come forth, uh, our contract team would put it into place in the packages for sub and vendor purchasing. And then as the design evolved, given the design build nature, there was a feedback from our vendors, from our subcontractors, on any type of safety, quality, budget, how to get it in on time, and any improvements we could make to make sure the project was a success. Everything was well done. I mean. The plant's running excellent, we're doing well. This plant serves both short-term and long-term goals. It uh, currently serves the South Residential, the Casino, and the Tamiya Hyatt Resort. Uh, long-term goals are they have a hotel going in next to the casino, they have commercial development on the other side of 550, and they want to grow the Pueblo. With this plant, they'll be able to accommodate all of those future requirements.